Fall has come to an end, and so has the constant rain it brings. The days are colder now, and it's the perfect weather for getting some renovations done. It's also great weather for another hobby I love doing in the cold, hiking. We all have other activities we love doing besides working. The bathroom has been on my to-do list for over a year now. I've been putting off starting this renovation because to be honest, it's going to be tough. The bathroom has a lot of labor-intensive work to be done. The beginning of winter means I much rather be enjoying the cold, crisp air outside than cooped up in a small room banging on walls. I'm not feeling the motivation to start this project yet. Other pursuits are beckoning me. Hey, get back, get back! <sighs> Tools? You not going hiking today? No, uh, I decided to work on the bathroom instead. Wow, that's a surprise. But it's a really nice day for a hike. <laughs> uh, that's okay, uh, I, I really should do the bathroom. Yeah, maybe so. Thanks for your hard work on your day off. Demolition work can be surprisingly enjoyable, but make no mistake, there is nothing fun about tile demolition. The tiles in the bathroom are falling off the wall easily in some areas, which is great, but only in some places. Uh, 
I'm not sure why the tiles come off so easily in some places and absolutely won't let go of the wall in other areas. I'm not using a sledgehammer because I'm trying not to damage the wall underneath. I embarked on what I hoped would be a swift and trouble-free demolition. Unfortunately, the process proved to be more difficult than anticipated, reinforcing why I initially hesitated to tackle this renovation for so long. While the tiles yielded in some places, the wall did not emerge unscathed. Nevertheless, the damage is superficial, easily mendable with a layer of plaster. A hole from the original water heater installation posed a new challenge as well. It needed closure. Don't we all? <laughs> I'm going to pile rocks over the pipe before pouring concrete over this area. Technically, you can pour cement over PVC pipes, but it's best to lay down gravel over the pipe first, and then cement over the gravel. Old tiles are difficult to dispose of. The trash recycling centers just won't take the old tiles. So, I broke the tiles into little pieces and created the gravel bed with the broken tiles. Yes, this was time consuming and tedious, but it solved two problems I had. What to do with the old tiles and having to drive an hour away to go buy gravel. Why not spend that hour pounding tiles and making them into gravel? Uh,
I'm using the Lasco 3D laser to create a 1 cm border around the floor. The wall will have a 1 cm thick layer of cement plastered over the old wall. Because I am using cement, I need to cover the rest of the floor in plastic tarp. I want to be clear, this is not shikui or wall plaster I am using. It's real concrete. I'm using a wire brush to scrape away any loose bits of wall. This is the HF1000 I used to mix with the concrete when I did my kitchen counters. This time, I will use the HF1000 as a wall primer for the concrete. Check the formaldehyde ratings on your materials and use the appropriate safety equipment before installation. The HF1000 is mixed four parts water to one part HF1000 when you're using it as a primer. Roll it on the wall and soak the wall really well. While the wall dries, I will mix the concrete mixture. I will add Manol waterproofing liquid into the concrete mix. This will keep moisture from penetrating through the concrete. As you saw earlier, I used the same product when I poured the concrete on the floor. This is to prevent moisture buildup since the bathroom is already a very damp room. Concrete is dense but porous and it absorbs moisture inherently. The concrete I am using is a medium to fine grit mix. It will fill the larger holes on the wall easily and I can apply it on the wall in a very thick manner. Man, plastering walls is the worst. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh my God. I'm going to take a long break after this. How's the bus coming along? <laughs> Actually, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work right now. Wow, you've done so much already. But please rest. Don't do so much in a one day. <laughs> uh, I'm okay, thanks. I did my best to make the wall smooth, but it's still concrete and therefore it has a grainy texture. Concrete will always have small holes and gaps. Don't worry, I'm going to fill these holes with another product after everything dries. You'll see. While I appreciate the raw aesthetic of concrete, and I would love to leave the walls the way they are, practical considerations prevail. Cleaning ease and mildew prevention necessitate a smoother surface, prompting additional refinements 
in the final stages of the concrete wall. I'm going to let this set and dry overnight and then I'm going to continue with phase two. So we're just going to open the window and let this room air out. I want to keep going because I have that momentum. Usually when I have my momentum going, I don't like to stop even if it does get dark. Um, I'd like to just continue going rather than stop because I know what I'm doing and I don't have to stop and clean all my tools and then the next day use them and clean them again. It just creates lots of work. Sometimes the animals here, they make some crazy noises. I'm not sure what it is, but sometimes it's just really loud at night. And I think it's deer or maybe a boar, but it sounds a little creepy. I'm not sure. Anyways, I think that I've done a lot and I think that I have earned a well-deserved break. Ah.